clearly it's pretty dark outside right now. The time's about 11.02. Uh, here comes that rain squall that we've been telling you about uh, all evening long. Um, rain's coming down at a moderate rate. Wind's not gusting too much as of right now. Uh, wind's gusting maybe 30 miles per hour. Um, wind's sustained around 20 to 25 miles per hour. And uh, now looking back at it, they may, that may not have been lightning strikes earlier. That may have been um, flashes from um, transformers going out because of that wind and rain that knocking out power to uh, residents in the Keller community of Richmond Hill. Honestly, I don't even know why I even try to wear a little poncho uh, rain flicker because uh, it's not going to really keep me dry. The wind has definitely been howling and uh, rain's been pouring for a good seven to eight minutes now. Um, rain's continuing to fall. That can be the major impact from Burl on us um, into Monday. It's just the rain and the wind. Nothing too crazy significant, but you know, this amount of rain and wind and just uh, the fact that it's been blowing for a while and the rain could be coming down for a while will uh, knock down some tree limbs and definitely the tree limbs could end up knocking down power lines causing power outages to the uh, local area. So definitely uh, keep the uh, flashlight handy because the power may go out. Um, other than that, definitely we might see some flooding at high tide in uh, coastal areas. High tide is around 1.15, 1.30 in the morning and uh, expected to be um, two to three feet higher because of tropical storm uh, barrel and all the winds blowing the water into the uh, estuaries of the coastal area. So um, definitely expect to see some flooding definitely out towards Tybee Island on US Highway 80, um, out towards Fort Pulaski. At that time, definitely don't want to be on the roadway because uh, there definitely could be some uh, shallow coastal flooding um, with uh, tropical storm barrel and uh, normal high tide. So the wind gusts reported in uh, Jacksonville at the airport not long ago of uh, 57 to 58 miles per hour. Um, definitely up to tropical storm strength. Um, another report of a wind gust of uh, 60 miles per hour in Florida also. Um, in Savannah we have reported of uh, 40 miles per hour. Alright, here comes the, here definitely comes that rain squall. A lot of rain. <laughs> This is what we've been talking about. We're talking about the uh, heavy rain coming in and the winds coming in from the uh, spiraling outer band of the burrow. And it's now finally impacting us. So, I told you the hurricane, the tropical storm was coming. I wasn't lying. It just took a little while to get here. Rain was coming down in a matter of just a few minutes, but you can already see how quickly that rain has been falling. The rain rate is up to anywhere between two to three inches per hour. It doesn't mean you're gonna get two to three inches, uh, but it does mean that that's the rate at which the rain is falling. So it doesn't take very long for there to be a little bit of punning on the roadways as of uh, even right now in uh, Richmond Hill. Rain is continuing to come down. It's been coming down now for about five to six minutes, pretty moderately and heavy at some times, some points. Um, wind has been gusting and blowing. Um, wind gusts maybe of 35, uh, maybe close to 40 miles per hour at one point, but um, haven't seen too much of a wind issue as of right now. Saw some flashes earlier out in the sky. Oh, there goes the wind gust. <laughs> of course, right, I want to say it. Um, there was a few flashes, three or four flashes in the sky earlier, um, thinking possibly it was lightning earlier, but uh, it may, excuse me, it may actually be from uh, transformers blowing out uh, out towards uh, Richmond Hill and Keller. So we have to see uh, if that is true. But um, yeah, you can definitely feel tropical storm burl and its impacts in Richmond Hill and the Savannah area.